So I don't know if you can see, I'm actually sitting in our brand new cafe in Wales, in Bangor in Wales, it's North Wales on the coast and it's very exciting. Um, it kind of, I suppose if you look, it kind of looks like we're done, but we're not. It's just this corner <laughs> is done and the rest of it, we're in the middle of painting. Um, I'm going to tell you a bit more in a little while. So um, this Facebook Live is, I've entitled it, The Battle Belongs to the Lord, because we are in a spiritual battle. Do you know that? Well, we are, even if you don't know it, we are, probably most of you know it. Just let me know where you're watching from or listening from. It's great to hear you, have your comments. So, um, yeah, what was I saying? Sorry, I'm kind of, <laughs> I'm reading comments. <laughs> I'm kind of going blank at the same time. So, yeah, it's good to have you on here from all around the world. It's uh, so good to have so many followers. And that we are in this together, you know, that we are, we're in a spiritual battle, we're in this together. And if you read, this is what Rick Joyner says, if you read the end of the book, we win. So that's good, isn't it? That's good to know. Um, so for those of you who missed the beginning, I'm live in our new Miracle Cafe in Wales. And so today what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about the spiritual battle that we're in and really how you can be empowered to walk in your calling and to walk in the authority that is yours through Jesus because we need to know that don't we and I'm also going to be sharing about our vision for our miracle cafes um, we've we're just opening very soon or hopefully in the new year who knows what's going to happen with all what's going on at the moment but uh, yeah hope, hoping to open our miracle cafe here in Bangor North Wales in the new year so I'll tell you a bit more about our whole vision and about this cafe in a little bit. First of all, um, I just wanted to mention actually we're, me and Rob will be, um, oh Rob says hi by the way. He's not here, he's not in the cafe with me so I'm, I'm here doing this today on my own but um, Rob sends his love to everybody. And in an hour's time, so that's three o'clock UK time if you're watching this live or um, what would that be, 10am Eastern time probably? Yeah, I think that's right. It's about five hours difference. Um, me and Rob are going to be going live on our portal, on our training portal, that's spiritlifestyle.com. And we're going to be taking your questions. So we've got quite a few questions already on there that we'll be answering in person. And if you're not signed up to our portal, do go on. You can join straight after this, spiritlifestyle.com. You get a free one week trial. And after that, you pay monthly. You subscribe to everything on there and you can choose how much you pay. So um, that's us stepping out in faith. We want to make this available to anybody in any nation, no matter what your circumstances. So um, yeah, do you, anybody here, just, you know, this is what I'm beginning to realize that people all around the world are spiritually hungry and spiritually aware. And it seems to be increasing almost by the day. And I think particularly over these last couple of years, all the stuff that's been going on, People are really beginning to take, take notice. It's like the whole world has either fallen apart or completely changed. And they're beginning to realize that there is something out there that's bigger than them. There's something going on behind the scenes that they weren't maybe originally aware of or maybe they've had some thoughts about it. But it seems to be getting more and more commonplace. And I don't know if you read on my Facebook post just the other day but me and Ruth, Ruth is my business um, partner for our Miracle Cafes and me and Ruth went to a local shop, a, a, just like a, a, like a restaurant suppliers the other day because we want to choose some plates and bowls and all that kind of thing you know we need for the cafe. So we just went in there to just to have a little look, see what's around and uh, compare prices and everything and the guy, the owner of that business just came out and basically said, you know, without us prompting him, without us, know, without him knowing who we were or anything, he never met us before, he just said, you know what, we are in a spiritual war, a spiritual battle. And I was like, I was really taken aback because I thought, like, he didn't even know anything about Jesus. He was not a follower of Jesus. And yet he, this guy, this businessman recognized that we around the world are in a spiritual war and it's happening right now. 
and he said he, he's so aware of it and he's talking to other people who are also aware of it as well and it was a great opportunity for us just to be able to step in and say do you know why we're in a war do you know why we're in a battle and we were able to talk about the fact he, he started talking about there's a good and there's an evil we're like yeah there is there really is but from somebody from his point of view the most he could really do about, do about it is to protest, is to go on rallies. And he said he'd never done that in his life before, but there's something going on spiritually. And he said, I need to do something. So it was, it was amazing really to be able to tell him, you can do something, but you know what? You need to be on Jesus' side. You need to, there is this massive battle going on. And um, for, if you're spiritually aware, you will know that there, there, there is stuff going on there's stuff going down that we've never seen before things are really ramping up and as well as you know if you watch the news or as rob calls it the poos <laughs> the poos <laughs> if you watch the, the bbc poos um or any any news for that matter it's basically it's telling you you know all the bad stuff that's going on how many people have died today how many people are ill today and it's just getting worse and worse and all the stuff going on political and um, environmental and just the horrible stuff that goes on in the world it's it seems to be really just getting worse and worse doesn't it um, I mean just please comment please you know if you're watching this on um, you live on Facebook you maybe on YouTube or on my podcast because I also put this on podcast then please do comment and um, and share this as well because we want this message to go out as far as we can and um, so where was I? I was somewhere in a spiritual battle, wasn't I? So there, there is something happening and this is, this is our time, folks. This is the time that, as, if you read prophecies in the Bible, this is what's been prophesied, what is happening now. And uh, this is the time for us to shine brightly. As followers of Jesus, we are the light. He, I mean, Jesus is the light, but when he's, we're one with him, we're in union with him, then we become the light everywhere that we go. And um, so we need to start being the light. And it's, it's only through the authority of Jesus because, you know, Jesus died on the cross. This is what we told this guy in, in the shop that we met. Jesus died on the cross. He came to earth. Jesus is God. He came to earth as a man, as a human being, to show us how we can live. So, you know, Jesus said, the things that I've done, the miracles and everything, you can do those, even greater things. So we should be at least doing what Jesus did when he was on the earth, <laughs> which is pretty crazy. But, but also, he, the, the other reason he came was to destroy the works of the devil. That's, what, that's the reason Jesus came, was to destroy the works of the devil, the Bible says. And when he was hanging on the cross, he took sin, he took death, he took sickness, he took pain. All the stuff you've been going through, he took that and paid the price for it. When he died on the cross, he said, it is finished. Jesus accomplished everything he needed to do. And he rose again by the power of the Holy Spirit. God raised him back to life. And he now has resurrection power and life that he then imparts to us as we are one in union with him. So we can actually live as Jesus was on the earth. As Jesus resurrected was on the earth we can live like that and this is a time when we're really finding out just what the truth is and people across the world people that know Jesus a bit for, uh, would call themselves Christians people that would say they're atheists people that don't know Jesus I'm not sure anybody I mean really we we can step into everything that Jesus made available to us but it is through Jesus and we it's available to all of us but many of us are not walking in in fact probably none of us are walking in the fullness I want to walk in the fullness of everything Jesus accomplished on the cross when he died and when he rose again and this is our day this is our time that we can now step into that he has ordained this time in the whole of history this is we're in the end times the last days however you want to call it so um I, I mentioned already, didn't I, that I'm going to be, I don't know, another 20 minutes or so, I'm going to, and then um, within the hour, I'm going to be jumping on to our spiritlifestyle.com training portal and doing live Q&A there with Rob. I, and I've got to say, we've had a lot of questions on the d demonic that we're going to be answering today. And I know sometimes we just seem to get lots of questions all similar or all on the same theme. And it really, it's, 
you know, it's like there is a, a spiritual battle. That's what I'm talking about today. And uh, but people are really becoming aware of it now, and we want to know what to do about it, don't we? So thankfully, Jesus has accomplished everything, and we can walk every day in the spirit lifestyle. We can walk in his power and his authority as we submit our lives to him. So I'm going to give you some idea today, just some pointers as to how we can really, um, you know, move in power and take authority over the things that are happening around us. Because many people I meet, Christians or not, they say, oh, things are really bad, aren't they? I don't know what's going to happen to me. I'm feeling bad. And just, you know, just break that off. If that's you, don't do it. Don't do it because that's the enemy. That's what the enemy wants you to come into agreement with, with him. And he's miserable and he wants to kill you and destroy your life. And he's having a good go, isn't he? But we're not going to let him. So because of what Jesus did, we can have authority over everything that the enemy does. So, um, yeah, I was saying about this guy in the shop, wasn't I? He says we're in a spiritual war, which... Yeah, we really are. But, you know, Ephesians 6 in the Bible, this is what I quoted to him, you know, when, when we met this guy. Ephesians 6 is a good passage to read. And it says that, you know, our fight, our battle is not against flesh and blood. So, you know, you might be angry at politicians. You might be angry at, you know, stuff that is your spouse or a family member or the, I don't know, the government, the... Um, it, could be anything, somebody that's harmed you or wronged you in some way or a financial institution or whatever, your boss, whatever it might be, you might be angry at that person. But I tell you what, our battle is not against flesh and blood. But the Bible says it's, so it's not against people. There is no point, don't waste your energy getting angry with people because that's what the enemy wants you to get into and just drag you down and get into war and fighting, whether it's physical, whether it's verbal or whatever with people and do not do that because if you do that you're coming into agreement with the enemy's plan for your life and as you do that you will invite evil spirits into your life you will feel like you're living under a curse so just break that off and just right now we can just do that together so just say father god please forgive me for coming into agreement with the enemy in any way and lord i am sorry for getting angry for getting fearful, for getting worried and anxious, for, you know, any of that stuff with so-and-so. Just speak it out loud. I'm sorry that I've done that. I'm sorry that I felt bitter towards so-and-so or that I haven't forgiven them or I, I'm sorry that I want revenge or I want to make them feel bad or, you know, I, all the feelings that you might have, hatred, rejection, um, whatever, just speak it out and say, Lord, please forgive me for that. And I tell you what, you will get free from demons as you're doing that. Just say, Father, forgive me. And he says, I forgive you in the name of Jesus. You are forgiven as you do that. So don't do it again. Don't speak out bad stuff to people. Don't argue with them. What's the point, really? I mean, it's just a waste of time. And we don't want to waste time because time is short. And the door of opportunity is open right now. And we need to be stepping through that door of opportunity. So as you just, you know, our battle... It's not against flesh and blood, it's not against people, it is against the powers of this dark world, the world even, the, the powers, the principalities of darkness and the authorities, that it's all, it's evil spirits that operate through people and through systems and so there's no point in having a go at the people, you can, yes you can bind demons in people, go ahead and do that, if you, if you feel led from the Holy Spirit you can do that, but don't just battle people it's not going to go well in the long run or in the short term either so you know what's really important is that we know what is happening spiritually and i'm giving you some keys here some tools maybe some help there is spiritual stuff going on behind what we see physically happening and what's happening in your circumstances and around in the world today it is spiritual and what happens in the spirit realm impacts what happens in the physical realm so we need to deal with the spirit realm and thankfully Jesus has dealt with it once and for all and he has beat the devil <laughs> he has victory he has overcome sin Jesus has overcome sickness he's overcome death itself he's overcome everything that the enemy seeks to do Jesus has overcome it by his blood 
by his body that was broken and he's been raised from the dead and he's alive Jesus is alive and so if you don't know Jesus just right now just say thank you Jesus that you died for me you did all this for me and forgive me for going my own way forgive me for coming into agreement with the devil in any way with darkness and I invite the light of Jesus into my life so just say it Jesus I want to give you my life come into my life Lord Jesus set me free forgive me bring me into your family I want Father God to be my father through the spirit of Jesus you just speak it out right now and just do that as a first step in following Jesus just speak that out if you've done that please let me know just comment on here you can go to you can send if you, anybody wants to send us a message the best thing to do either on on here or um, if you need some response really then go to spiritlifestyle.com go to the contact page and send us a message on there um, also you can ask you know for, there's prayer requests on there there's um, you know if you want to get in touch with us so please do let me know if you have invited Jesus into your life just recently or just now or you want to follow Jesus then please do let me know and I've got to tell you you know we me and Rob have set up and we've got a little team amazing little team we have set up an online portal it's a training portal it's for people who really want they're hungry for things of the spirit if you are hungry for things of the spirit you want to go deeper you want to go higher you want to see in the spirit realm you want to know just what your inheritance is through jesus and you want to live in the fullness of that and in your calling and your purpose and uh you know we we need people around us to encourage us and there's lots of people that do that but if you want to join with us we've got a community online spiritlifestyle.com you can join you get one week free it's a membership it's just a it's a monthly subscription and you can get one week free but if you want to subscribe monthly you can choose how much you pay we haven't even put in a fixed amount because we we want everybody to be welcome and no one to be turned away whether you know you can't afford it if you can afford a bigger amount to help cover the cost for others please do that but you know um, we want everyone to be able to to make use of our training videos our online classes um, you know we've got those online and local as well it's it's uh, just amazing what God's doing and you can watch us obviously do the Q&A on there as well um, so we'd love you to join us and we get to know you and our community on there so yeah what what I'm saying is we need to be aware of what's happening spiritually and we need to see in the spirit realm and our fight is not against flesh and blood so only this is another another key really but only do what you see father god doing in heaven so this is why we don't want to see in the spirit realm so we can see demons i mean yes you will know it, i mean it is important <laughs> it is important to you know to be aware of the schemes of the enemy the apostle paul told us that didn't he we need to be aware of what the enemy does and how he schemes so we can recognize him when he's at work and part of what we do is help people see what the enemy is doing but we don't want to go looking for him because you know he just he'll just show up when you least expect it but the thing is the key is to keep your eyes fixed on Jesus and to do that we we need to know that we are seated with Christ in heavenly places so if you've given your life to Jesus you just all you need to do is go there like through it's through Jesus it's got to be through Jesus there are other ways in the spirit realm there are other doors but they're not they're basically illegal access points but Jesus said I am the door John 10 10 John John 10 9 I think it is I am the door whoever comes enters by me will be kept safe and you can go in and out and find pasture find good sustenance for your soul so we need to go through Jesus but if you go through Jesus through his spirit into the spirit realm and really see just Lord right right now just show us the truth of who you are who you've created us to be and who we are in you like if we knew who we were you know how God loves us just as much as he loves Jesus do you know that and he has available to us everything that is available to Jesus is available to us because Jesus is in us we're one with him we're in union with him we just got to recognize that and live it <laughs> just breathe in the Holy Spirit right now just breathe in a deep breath of the Holy Spirit 
Holy Spirit. I mean, he's in you. If you've asked him in, he's in there. But there's something about the manifest presence of the Holy Spirit that it's like if you do something just to symbolize recognizing the Holy Spirit coming in, just breathe him in. And just breathe out any negativity, any darkness, any evil spirits. Just go right now. Leave in Jesus' name. And get full of the light of Jesus. Because he's wonderful and he loves you so much. So we want to do only, like Jesus said, he only did when he was on the earth. And he did what he saw the Father doing in heaven. We need to do that. So be obedient to the Holy Spirit. He, the Spirit, Holy Spirit is the Spirit of Jesus. He's the Spirit of the Father. So he will show you what is happening so just talk to him talk to the holy spirit get to know him and ask him what is happening right now and if you feel something a physical sensation or something spiritually or something you know just always i'm always asking the holy spirit what is happening right now lord just show me what do i need to do and he will show you so one time um, i'll tell you a quick story by the way for those who just joined i'm sitting in our new cafe our miracle cafe in bangor in wales and um, only the corner's done so far, so I've got my back to the bit that's done. <laughs> if I was able to show you around, you'll see it's a bit of a, a bit of a mess. We're still painting, there's paintbrushes everywhere and um, stuff, tables upside down and all the rest of it. But I don't know if you can see, but these tables are the ones that some of you very kindly donated and to help us buy these old pub tables, which we've renovated, we've sanded, painted, whatever. Um, we've got them there and... Uh, We've got others as well, but you can't see those in, in the video. Thank you so much to those of you who've been donating. And we, we really can't do this without you. You know, we've, what we've done is we've set up a community interest company called Miracle Cafes. And it's UK based. So if you want to give into that, just if you go to, we've got a website. I mean, you can go through spiritlifestyle.com website. If you go on there, you will find a link to the cafe website. Or you can go directly onto uh, the website for our cafes, which is really easy. It is miracle.cafe. That's cool, isn't it? So you can remember that. You can tell people that, can't you? Um, if you go on there, you will. I need to update it, actually. I've, I did start it, and I need to do a bit more. But um, you can just see how you can donate into our community interest company. We've got lots of costs coming up. Um, we, I'll tell you a bit more about that in a moment actually, I'll, I'll stick to my theme of spiritual warfare and then I'm going to talk to you a bit more about the cafes and our vision for the cafes. Um, but also you can donate to our, um, if you go on there it'll give you a link, if you're in the States and you want to donate into our, um, our charity, we've got a, a not-for-profit organisation, a 501c3 or something, I keep thinking Levi's 501s but it's something, anyway. Something, you'll know what it is if you're in America. If you want to donate into that and you get a tax, whatever, do da on that. I don't really understand it, but um, that's on there as well. If you go to miracle.cafe, you'll be able to do that. Or you can donate into the into our UK community interest company. Um, we What we really need as well as one-off donations is we need monthly partners. So we'd love for you to partner with us. And no matter how much you can give, if you can do it monthly and set that up monthly, it really, really helps us because we can start budgeting a bit then and seeing how much is coming in and how much we can expect. Um, we've got ongoing costs. You know, we're going to have a lot of costs here and with all the others that we're doing around the world. I'll tell you about that in a moment. So going back to spiritual warfare, and this I was going to tell you, wasn't I, about um, a story. Just let me have a little drink. Cheers. Have a little drink of the Holy Spirit while you're watching, while I'm having a drink. So, <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, but I'm a little bit full of the Holy Spirit, as usual. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm always full of, the, full of the joy of the Lord, <laughs> usually anyway, maybe not always, but quite often. Um, I'm just blown away by God's goodness, isn't he good? Isn't, isn't Jesus just so wonderful? The things that he's doing right now, and he's just, he's just so amazing. <laughs> He's so amazing. So, um, anyway, oh gosh. <laughs> a quick story about a, do you want to hear a story about a big principality demon? Do, do, do. So, this, you might have heard the story, it's a few years back. It's when we started our first cafe, our first Miracle Cafe in Blaken in Chester. And um, 
we were still living in our previous home. The Lord told us to, you know, give up our home, our careers, our business, everything. We didn't know where we were going. But just before we moved um, into Blaken, we were just thinking, right, we need to move to Blaken, which was, you know, it's a deprived area. Things have changed since we were there, but deprived, drugs, crime, all the rest of it. We, we opened our cafe it, right in the heart of Blaken and miracles broke out as soon as we opened. Well, we, we opened, it was just crazy. Miracles haven't stopped since, and that was 2009. But just after we opened that, we were just thinking about moving our us and our family, you know, into moving house to Blaken. And um, in the middle of the night, I had this uh, experience. <laughs> I had an encounter with, it turned out to be the principality of Blaken had come to the village we were living in just down the road and sat on the neighbour's uh, rooftop and it was staring me out and trying to look really menacing and um, I thought that's it was, actually was it was a bit creepy it was the most it, really it was the most the hideous scariest looking man it looked like a man but just like I I knew it was some kind of demonic thing and it was staring at me in the middle of the night on the neighbor's rooftop and it was like I was taken there in the spirit, you know, while I was asleep, I was taken there and I was looking at it face to face. And as I, I was, as I'm sleeping, but I'm having this encounter, I'm just, in, you know, I'm saying to the Holy Spirit, what, what shall I do about that ugly looking thing? I wasn't intimidated at all because when you know who Jesus is and who's living on the inside of you and who you are, <laughs> what authority and power you have, you're not, you don't have to be scared. So the enemy wants you to, to scare you. Do not come into fear because... You know, that's coming into agreement with the enemy. Just, you can laugh. I mean, it's honestly, <laughs> get full of the Holy Spirit. It's a much better idea. So um, anyway, next, you know, I'd woken up and I was asking the Lord, what was that thing that was trying to scare me? Um, I think it was just, it was manifesting. You know, demons, whether it's principalities over regions, whether it's demons that are in people or, you know, poltergeist, that kind of demon, they they manifest when they feel threatened. And this, I believe this principality, the Prince of Blaken manifested when it felt threatened because we were on its patch, so it thought. Obviously, it's Jesus' patch. So um, we had Satanists and all sorts contacting us and studying us and getting saved in the end, which was amazing, but um, all about the same time. Anyway, the Lord told me, it was a few weeks later before the Lord told me what, um, what it was, and he said that was the Prince of Blaken. But when I said, what shall I do about that? He didn't tell me to go and try and cast it out or knock it down or do, you know, spiritual warfare with it. What the Holy Spirit told me, the Spirit of Jesus said was, just keep doing what you're doing, which is what I've told you to do, which is keep prayer walking around Blaken, set up your cafe or keep going with your cafe, keep casting out demons, keep leading people to Jesus, demonstrating my love, demonstrating my power, keep, we were doing school of the Spirit, meetings which were weekly we had crazy worship time and we were teaching people it's like it's like our weekly classes are now we're having people every week coming and we were teaching them and practicing on each other and you know the lord just said keep doing that and as you keep doing that you're extending my kingdom and that is what is going to topple this principality so it's really really important only do what you see the lord doing in heaven so you need to see what he's doing and he will show you that by you know, speaking to you in lots of different ways. We've got a lot of teaching on that. We've got loads of videos on our portal on that to help you do that. Our classes take you through it. You can practice on each other. That's all on spiritlifestyle.com. So the other thing is I need to tell you is set your heart on things above, not on earthly things. Now, we want to have our hearts, our minds set on Jesus and his kingdom, don't we? Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and then all these other things all the things about your life, what you're going to do, what you're going to wear, where you're going to live, who you're with, what you, you know, all the rest of it will be added to you. Isn't that amazing? So I can just see the screen flashing. I don't know why that's flashing. I've got nothing flashing in here. There's no fans going or anything. So um, I don't know if that's the Holy Spirit. Was, I don't know if you watched my video I did in here last week. Um, I don't know if you saw, it looked like angels were moving around, <laughs> feathers or angels moving around on the video. I have no idea what that was, but um, it could well be angelic. So I don't know what's going on now. You might be able to see stuff behind me happening. But um, yeah, do what you see happening in heaven and set your heart, set your mind on things above, not on the stuff 
the worldly stuff, you know. So um, I've got lots. I've got things written down here, so I don't forget. I need to look down at my notes, don't I? I just go off on a tangent if I don't look at them. How are you all doing anyway? I hope you're doing all right. Do you want another drink of the Holy Spirit? Come on. Let's all take a big drink. Come on, let's take a drink of the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we love you. We thank you that you're here. You're in each one of us. You're with each one of us. So we just want you to manifest your presence right now with us. Wherever we are, please manifest your presence, Lord Jesus, through the power of your Spirit right now. Just be thinking about, are you feeling something happening? Maybe you're feeling like um, a heat or like a tingling sensation or something's happening around you. Some of you watching, you know, you've been in pain for a long time. That pain is leaving right now because the presence of Jesus is here and your pain is going and whatever is causing that pain, be healed in Jesus' name. Be completely healed. Uh, I'm just releasing for, for, for you right now. I'm, I just felt the Lord say that he wants to release impartation. So maybe just put your hands out. Just receive that right now from heaven impartation from heaven and it's by faith receive it by faith impartation from jesus through his spirit for not only for you but for you to then give that out to others because he's sending you out this is a time where the lord is sending you out so receive for yourself whatever you need from the lord and, re and then release that unto others. So get, to get activated, if you want to receive something yourself, the best thing to do, I find, is to get activated and go and help somebody else. Release what you want for somebody else and you will start, it'll flow. It's like, you know, the streams, the rivers of living water, they're flowing as you're giving out. If you just want to receive all the time, you're not giving out, it ain't going to happen because you're going to be like, uh, what, what, did, what did they call it in the Bible? Just, you know, one of those give me jigs uh jeremiah talked about you know cisterns was it or just some, like with horrible water and stale murky ugh, water and some of you have that and you're not quite sure why stagnant yeah thanks i bet say stagnant <laughs> stagnant water which is it stinks and it's poisonous if you drink it it'll make you ill so my top tip for today is do not just receive but as you give out, it will start to flow. And that's where you will get refreshed. That's where you will start to find your healing comes. You will be receiving all those things you need. You will receive as you give. So we give to get to give. That's whether it's money, whether it's uh, anything from the Lord. We give to get to give. That's a really good principle. Anyway, that was just for free. So... Um, you know, we've, we've just got to, we've got to live by faith, not by fear. That's another key point there. I haven't written loads of things down. It's just a few things that are popping into mind. Um, and I've got to finish this very soon because I need to jump onto this spiritlifestyle.com Q&A session on the hour. So uh, I'll stay for a little bit longer. So I want to take you back the Miracle Cafes and what's happening and see how you want to be involved because we'd love all of you to be involved one way or another. So, and let me know, you know, as you're watching, it, whether I'm praying for you or not, many of you are getting healed, many of you are getting set free from demons, so please do just comment. If you're starting to see angels, starting to feel the tangible presence of Jesus, if you're giving your life to Jesus for the first time or getting back with him after some time, you know, whatever, I want to know about it because it really encourages me. So please keep leaving messages. If you want to send me a message, um, directly, you know, go to spiritlifestyle.com and go to the contact page on there. Or I did join our portal on there. Join, subscribe monthly um, because I, me and Rob go through all that. The um, if you go to the contact form, that doesn't necessarily come to me, but it will go to somebody, quite likely our daughter or one of our team, who will be able to help you with any queries or things. But a lot of it, testimonies and stuff. I get to see those. I love that. So, um, yeah, don't keep focused on stuff going on around you. Any bad, you know, circumstances, bad stuff you're going through, I'm so sorry to hear that you are going through bad stuff. I really am. And my heart goes out to you, whether it's you personally, somebody close to you. You know, we regularly pray for all our members that are watching us and we, we pray for you. But 
you know, really, I, I want to say, don't get your eyes fixed on that. Keep your eyes fixed on Jesus and you will find that these temporary afflictions and sufferings, as the Apostle Paul told, you know, talked about, they're momentary. They're just temporary because we've got the whole of eternity. So let's bring eternity now. Let's, let's go for the powers of the age to come. Let's taste them. Let's start eating those, having them now in this life. Let's not wait for death before we go to the king, you know, before we go to heaven, why, why should death be the doorway when Jesus is the door? So let's right now go and experience the things of the kingdom, eternal things now. Why, why do we have to die? Why do we have to sin? Why do we have to be sick when Jesus has defeated all that? So let's start living really how we were created to live, not to die, not to be sick, not to sin, Let's just not do it anymore. Okay. <laughs> so um, read the Bible, that's what it says. Okay. I've got to keep going. I'm going to finish in a minute. Um, step out in faith, not fear. This is a time to be bold and courageous because we're in the promised land now. And that's what the Lord said, wasn't it, to Joshua and to Caleb. Be bold, be courageous, take courage. Don't wait for it to come to you. You've got to take courage step out in faith but we are on the offensive now not the defensive and when you the spiritual warfare we're in this is really important the spiritual warfare we're, we're in right now is because we're in the promised land and we are taking that land okay we are taking that land so that yes they the enemy is there but we are you know taking off the enemy's heads we're, we're on the offensive so if you're coming up against stuff don't think oh it's coming at me i'm under attack no, 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 you're attacking the enemy and he's just going to manifest, he's going to do his best, but you have authority. So this is what we need to learn and this is what we're training people in all around the world. You have the authority through Jesus. <laughs> and don't get under misery and, you know, depression and darkness and feeling bad and feeling full of fear and anxiety because that's the devil. He wants to stop you in your tracks. He wants to kill you and destroy you and destroy your call. Um, you know, Rob is just, he's putting together, we're doing a, a new, um, what do you call it? A video series. You know, we've got lots of video series training that is on our spiritlifestyle.com portal that you can watch. You can go on instant access to watch them all when you subscribe. We, we've just started a new one called Life GPS. And it's really, it's, we've just done the first one so far. It's on there. You can watch it. It's, he's been doing some animation. It's amazing. He's got like cars and, you know, it's so good. Anyway, um, I didn't realise how long it took to do animation. It's just amazing. But he's been, Rob's been working really hard behind the scenes. Watch the first one. Let us know what you think of it because I think it's amazing. But in that series, Life GPS, what we do is we help you discover what your purpose is, your calling and give you help as to on your journey how you're going to get there and it's really really good so um if you haven't checked that out that's on the spiritlifestyle.com portal so yeah what was i saying do not do not fear be full of faith and step out in faith but you know faith comes by hearing romans 10 says and hearing is by the word of god so don't just step out and think be blase right i'm going to do this crazy thing because i've got to step out in faith it's got to be what God tells you to do. So read the Bible, read the scriptures, believe them, but also prophecy and words that other speak, people speak to you that you believe are from God, things that God speaks to you directly. That's the word of God. So faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word. And that word is Greek, is rima, which means it's the now word for you. That is, it's, it's, it comes from God for you right now. So faith comes by hearing and hearing by that word of God, whether it's scripture that God's breathing on for you right now, or whether it's words of God that are being spoken to you into your spirit through other people. If you know it's God, you need to step out in faith and act upon it. Now, I need to finish, don't I? I've still got lots more I want to say. Shall I go a little bit longer? What do you think? Um, Hebrews 10. I'm, I'm really, I've been reading a lot about Hebrews, um, about the heroes of faith. I love that, you know, in Hebrews 10 and 11, talks about those who've been gone before us. But Hebrews 10, 
says it starts talking about you know joyfully accept the confiscation of your property because you know that you yourselves have better and lasting possessions now i've got, I've got to tell you that i am currently living because i have gone out on a limb with these cafes <laughs> this, is, this is an example of me right this is a, a true story that's happening right now with me i've gone out on a limb with our what we've done with our miracle cafes i'm sitting in the corner of our Miracle Cafe in, in Wales right now. And we want this to be the first of many. But I tell you what, I you know how most of you know, me and Rob have already given up our home twice over the years. We've given up our home, we've gone on the road, we've been, we're living in rented accommodation now because of COVID, we couldn't keep traveling. We gave up absolutely everything, our, our families, our grandchildren, our, our home, everything. I love my home, my interior design, my nice things, giving it all up. Not only have we been living, you know, in a beautiful place recently on a mountain in Wales through COVID that we're just renting. And that's all by faith, I've got to say. But now I've, we've, you know, I've stepped out again and I'm currently living in virtually, I'm almost camping, the conditions I'm living in. I've got no heat, I've got no light, I've got no hot water. Um, it's a miracle I managed to put some lipstick on before I went on here. We were, I'm in the cafe right now, but you know, where we have got heat and light, thankfully. Um, so I'm living in, you know, I've just literally got virtually the clothes I've got on and maybe and another set of clothes. I'm not too stinky, hopefully. But I've given up absolutely everything because to start this cafe up and I want to start cafes all around the world. So when I read Hebrews 10 where it says, you, you know, you property, because you yourself have better and lasting possessions, this is, be ready, be ready to give up everything the Lord calls you to give up. And I tell you what, he will come through. I am so convinced that as we step out in faith, we have no money to do these cafes. We have, you know, we're, we're going to be traveling to different places around the world to start these cafes. In, I want to go, we want to go global with Miracle Cafes. You've, you've heard the stories of things that happened in our previous cafes and in our shop, in our bed and breakfast. We want to do that. So let me just tell you quickly our vision for our Miracle Cafes and how you can get involved. So this first one is in Bangor in North Wales. Um, don't travel a long way to come here. I mean, you know, to find me. This is what I was going to say. <laughs> yes, you can come here. Don't come to find me because I'm very soon I'm going to be off. To the next place because my role is really stepping out in faith getting these off the ground full of faith for the money coming in we need people so this is what we need people with money if you have been blessed financially if you have if you've got a good business or you've you've come into inheritance or you or you just want to sow into this even if you don't have much money but you want to sow into the project that we're doing then please do that because we are needing people with money or even those without much but can just even just give a bit monthly or or a huge amount we are we are open to millions because we need them so this is me stepping out in faith um we we've given up everything to do this and we're not getting anything from it i mean we we've gone years and years without getting any pay um we have in recent years taken a little tiny bit but not much just enough to you know we're still living by faith basically i just want to be honest with you we we don't care because you know our treasure is in heaven and i that's where we want to be looking all of us want to be looking to to jesus and his kingdom coming and i tell you if you're willing to give up everything <laughs> you will be so blessed we are blessed like i'm feeling emotional because i'm i am so blessed i am so so blessed and to be on this journey with the holy spirit and with you guys hopefully so this cafe, we've, we're opening hopefully in the new year. We're, we need staff. We've got some staff already that we've recruited by faith. But what we need is a really good chef. And what we'd love to do is street food. Who likes street food? We want to get street food going from our cafes. So we, wanna, we want chefs for all these cafes who are really good, not only at producing amazing, tasty food. Our tagline is a taste of heaven. <laughs> so obviously that's spiritually, but it's also eating good food so we want really good chefs so if you're a chef in the Bangor area or you want to move here and if you want to start working for us we need a chef we need you started as soon as possible certainly in the new year 
Um, so please contact us if you're a good chef. We what we want to do is raise up people. So we we we've already recruited. We've managed to find an amazing front of house uh, manager supervisor who's going to be looking after front of house. What we want as well is interns or trainees. If you want to be trained in the whole supernatural, if you want to be activated to do miracles, work with our customers. So we're looking for interns where in exchange for you working here in the Miracle Cafes, you will be serving, you'll be waiting on, you'll be waiting on staff, we will train you in that. You've got to be have a heart for people that you will really want to be good with people, with good with customers, that you will be happy and cheerful and bring a smile to their face in our Miracle Cafes where you will serve them, we will train you in all that, how to do all that. But it's hard work, you know, we've done this for years with cafes, you are serving. Think about, you know, Axe, where they had, it was Philip, wasn't it, and um, what's his name, Stephen. Stephen Phil in, uh, in the book of Acts, and they were full of the Holy Spirit, but they were waiting on tables. But as they did that, they saw revival breaking out, and that's what we find. So we will train you in ministry, we will train you in the whole supernatural, in, uh, you'll see amazing miracles as you step out in faith. We need you, um, we can't pay you probably, unless we can do some kind of government scheme, funding, we might be able to find that. So this is, we're gonna start, we're starting here in Wales in Bangor. Um, the other thing we need, we, we need those of you who are handy, you're builders or you are electricians or you are plumbers, because this building we have here in Banga is not just a cafe. The cafe's fine. That's all ready to go, almost. But above, we have four more floors <laughs> in this building. We have four other floors. Three of them we can use for accommodation, potentially. But it's a bit of a state. So we need somebody, either we need the money to, to pay to have this done in January, or we would need somebody who can come and whether you're local or you can come and stay nearby and you can give of your time. So if you are a builder and you're able to put up some stud walls, partition walls, we just got some rooms we want to make, you know, split into two. We need bathrooms putting in. We need a full gas central heating system putting in. Um, it all needs rewiring. So please give financially to help us do that. And if you can do the work, we would love to hear from you. We will feed you. <laughs> if you can come, we will, you know, you'll have fun here. But that needs to be done in January. So either between Christmas and New Year or January. So please do, you know, if you can share this, let this go to all your friends, family members, let them know if, if anybody can help us whether it's finances or you want to be involved. So we're starting here with this one in Wales, but I tell you what, I want to get going onto others. So beginning next year, depending on the travel restrictions, maybe we'll have to travel in the spirit, supernaturally, without aeroplanes. Um, then really, you know, we, we want to see these cafes starting in neighborhoods around the world. So if you would like, <laughs> This is all by faith, okay? If you would like to start or be part of a Miracle Cafe in your community, in your neighbourhood, in your town or city, then what we want you to do, if you go to spiritlifestyle.com, you need to subscribe to you, because what we, we need to know you first. And if we don't know you, we can't work with you. It's really important that we know you. Very important that we know you. So you need to subscribe to our... Um, portal our training portal so you just need to go on to spiritlifestyle.com subscribe you get a free one week trial but you will it'll ask you how much you want to pay per month don't be you know be bold be courageous maybe put in a figure that you think oh, that's quite a big figure but i'm going to do this by faith put that in if you have no money if you're in debt we don't want you to get in debt doing this so if you and, and it depends what nation you're in some of you this you know the whole the economy is different to what it is in the UK. So um, just, there's a, you know, just put in the minimum amount that you can put in. You, you choose, ask the Holy Spirit how much to give. So you'll be paying a monthly amount, a donation, or, but it, it's a payment basically, but you choose that each month on our spiritlifestyle.com portal. For that amount, you get to be part of our community. You get to watch all our training videos. You can join an online class. But we will get to know you because we've got, it's like Facebook, but it's on our, 
portal, you can actually start to write things on there, ask for prophetic words, start prophesying. We want to get you activated. So ideally join a class. If you want to start a Miracle Cafe, you've got to join a class because you will get to know more people in your, in your class. Then what we want you to do when you've been in the class for a bit, and you may be watching you already in one of our classes, we want you to start your own class and we will help you do that. And really the, the point of that is to start gathering a team together. So you will start praying together, practicing on each other. We, do, we give you all the training to do this. We give you all the full support and you become part of our leadership team then as, as one of our coaches, Spirit Lifestyle Coaches. We will train you up. And then you see what's happening in this Banger Cafe is going to have the same in other cafes we roll out. We are, in January, we're going to start doing weekly Spirit Lifestyle classes. So locals, people who come in are going to receive miracles, they're going to see breakthrough, they're going to see crazy stuff going on as they come in just to get their lunch or their breakfast or their, din their dinner and they are going to want to know more. So what we have then is we have our local classes which we're going to be running out uh, running them out in <laughs> our cafes. We already have them in many places already, but as we roll out the, the cafes, that was a word I was trying to find, rolling out. As we roll out the cafes, they're all going to have these um, Spirit Lifestyle classes where people can be mentored and trained and activated in the things of the Spirit. So um, it's kind of, you know, discipleship really. It's, it's amazing. What's, we've got hundreds, well, not hundreds, but yeah, we've got hundreds of people in these classes, I think, all around the world. We've got lots of them all around the world already. Also, in our Miracle Cafes, what we want to do is, um, I've already said, haven't I, potentially we'll, we want to have people here who are interns, who we're training you, you're coming for training, you're working in here, we train you, potentially we can, you can live in once we get this place up and running and fit for purpose. And um, so, and the chef, any, if you are going to be our chef, then you would help. We want to train people in, you know, in hospitality. So raise up new, you know, more chefs. And we want you to come here. If you want to start a cafe, maybe you'll end up coming here for a short while where we train you, intensive training, and then we'll help you plant, start a cafe, a miracle cafe near where you live. So we want to help you do that. We're in this together. We need the finances, not only for this cafe here in Wales, but we want to, the vision is massive. As you can see, it's massive. It's for the whole world. We want to see these, I want to see these cafes being, springing up all around the world. I've just looked at the time. I've got to go now. I've been talking for a long time. <laughs> but you, you, it looks like you're all still with me, and uh, which is great. So let me just, I've, I did write some notes. Let me have a quick look. The trouble is when you're doing live on your own, you know, normally I'm with Rob nowadays on here and you sort of take it in turns to talk and you can have a little rest in between but, and you can think about what you're going to say next. But when it's just you on your own, it's like you've got to keep talking otherwise it's just silent like that. You know, we're all looking at each other. So, um, oh, just let, let me read this. Hebrews 11 verse 1. This is from the Passion Translation. Now faith brings our hopes into reality. Wow. Faith brings our hopes. So if you have hopes, if, you, if the Lord's called you to do something or if you, in, for your life, if you have hopes and dreams in your life, faith brings our hopes into reality and becomes the foundation needed to acquire the things we long for. Isn't that amazing? So we really need faith. And... Um, so I told you about our, our vision. Um, we're hoping to open this cafe here in Bangor in the new year. So we're getting it ready now. We're working hard behind the scenes and then we should be open beginning. All being well, depending on COVID. Ugh. All being well, we'll be open in January, beginning of January. So if you're local, please, there's no point in coming before then. Come in January um, because the doors are closed. We can't we can't do anything. I don't think at the moment. So um, join a class. Join one of our classes if you can. Like I say, we've got more around the world. We've got German speaking classes now and Spanish, and we've got classes in quite a few of the African nations in Malaysia, or you know many nations in Europe, America. If you want to start a class, go to spiritlifestyle.com and join a class. Then you can start one. Uh, we've got, I haven't got time, but I was going to tell you some of the testimonies coming out of our classes 
amazing miracles happening people that have never seen miracles before not only getting miracles for themselves but they're actually moving in miracles people a lot of deliverance going on people casting out demons practicing on each other people starting to really um, being aware of the angelic prophesying um, crazy stuff going on crazy stuff angelic really taking off like people seeing angels and stuff um, so in a moment, I'm going to jump on to the spiritlifestyle.com portal. If you haven't already signed up for that, do sign up. You can then instantly watch me and Rob doing our live Q&A. Today, what we're going to be doing, you might be listening to this on Catch Up or watching on Catch Up. We have them on there for a few months, so you can watch all the old ones as well. But um, we've got quite a lot of questions on the demonic today. So we're going to be looking at mental health issues, schizophrenia. I'll tell you a story about a neighbour we had who had, we was schizo and it was crazy, it was really crazy. Anyway, we'll be telling that story. Somebody asking about Lyme disease, so we'll be sharing about that and a story about that. Somebody asking about manifesting, because on my last, um, I don't know, a few a couple of weeks ago, I wrote a post on Facebook and mentioned about the dangers of manifesting um, that is popular right now, where it's you know, kind of name it and claim it type stuff. We'll, somebody's asking about that, we'll be answering questions on that. Um, somebody asking, you know, does God send evil spirits? It seems to say that in the Bible. Why would he do that? Somebody asking about Python spirits. Um, somebody asking how to cast out demons. So it really does sound like a lot of our Q&A today is going to be on the demonic and getting rid of them. So um, it fits well with my new book that is coming out very soon. I've nearly finished it um, about getting rid of your demons and really shining and glowing with the glory of Jesus. So on that note, I just want to pray for everybody who's watching or who's listening on the podcast, I want to pray for you right now that you know Jesus, that you know him, that you really know him like never before. Just, just why not, just right now, say, Lord Jesus, I want to give up everything to follow you. Because that's what he asks, isn't it? Let's face it. You're never going to be happy unless you've given up everything to follow him. It might not be your possessions, it might not be your your lifestyle, you know, it doesn't necessarily mean that's different for each one of us. It basically means giving up what you want, surrendering what you want to God and saying, not my will, but yours be done. So I just want to surrender my life to you, Jesus. Just come into my life, fill me with your spirit, set me free from stuff, from my own stuff, from the demonic stuff and uh, fill me with your glory. I want to see glory. I want, I'm, thank you that I'm one with you. I'm called to be one with you, in union with you, Jesus. So just right now, as you do that, receive freedom and healing in Jesus' name. So I'm going to go now, and uh, hopefully I'll see you on spiritlifestyle.com. And also, if you want to check out the cafe website, go to miracle.cafe. And obviously, follow me. If you're not already following me, um, don't, do follow me. It's Alice Creswell. Follow me on Facebook, on Instagram, and on YouTube. And also, we've got our Miracle Cafe's um, social media as well on there. So do follow us. And we'll see you very soon. Love you all. Thanks for joining. Bless you.